What is up, guys, and welcome back to, uh, well, it's not Fit Dad's Live today. It's just Fit Dad Chris, uh, my co-host. You know, we usually do a bi-weekly live stream, but he's a little under the weather. Uh, he's kind of out for the count this week. So this week, I decided we'll just do a quick little reaction video of some gym idiots that I uh, came across. And uh, I thought that might be kind of fun. I thought you guys might enjoy that. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and just get this party going. If you notice a difference in picture quality, that is due to uh, me using a webcam that I bought. Um, our new computer does not have one installed or it doesn't have one as a feature. It has all these other features but it doesn't have a webcam so i had to go buy a webcam so today i thought that i would try it out uh as a you know see how it compares to my phone and so far it is a poor comparison it does not what it does not match up with my phone so i'm gonna do a screen share i already have the video pulled up and uh I was just going to give a few minutes to let a few people roll in. And um, once we have a few people in the chat and watching, we will pull up the Jim Fell video. Now, a little bit of um, backstory on this channel. He is hilarious. I've been watching him for quite a while now. He does a lot of... Jim Fell videos. I think he's probably done a Jim Fell video on every Jim Fell uh, that you can find out there. He has an abundance of content on his channel. Uh, the video that we will be watching is linked in the description below. I believe it's the second link, if I'm not mistaken, right below the link to my co host channel, which I would also recommend going and subscribing to his channel because next week we will continue on with episode 23 of Fit Dads Live on Michael's channel, Truth Under Tension. Man, I haven't done a screen share in so long. Almost forgot how. Let's see what kind of setup we got. Let's do this. I like that one better. Let's change this to full screen. All right, what do you guys think? And I'm down there in the corner. Yeah, I think so. you guys some people go to the gym to get cut this guy in the white shirt went to the gym to cut he got mad because he didn't want people to look at his girl somebody tell him that eyes were made for looking and girls don't like men with knives anyway they are more into men with two big guns aka biceps talking about his girlfriend maybe he brought the knife to the gym because he was trying to butter her buns imagine Oh, uh, so I'm going to be pausing intermediately because I'm not sure of the uh, rules. I can't remember as far as um, fair use goes. Um, I'm pretty sure I won't get a copyright on this. I mean, it'll never be monetized, but I'm only a quarter of the way to making it to where I can get monetized anyway. So it doesn't really matter as far as that goes, but I just want to make sure that I am filling in uh, my own input because I don't want to take any of this guy's content. If anything, I want to send people to his channel uh, because, like I said, he's got an abundance of content just like this, and it is hilarious. But anyway, this guy he brings a knife into the gym and is threatening people with it, it seems, because they were apparently 
looking at his girl. <laughs> I mean, uh, you brought your girl to a... Whoa, what happened, man? It looks like this new webcam that I just purchased apparently has a loose connection already. And it kept bouncing back and forth between my headset microphone and this piece of crap webcam microphone. So I'm going to go ahead and double check that we have the right audio. No, we don't. This is the audio I prefer. That should sound much better. Let me know, repair gang, if you don't mind. I uh, apologize for that interruption, but we will get back to the Jim Fell video. Just got to bring it back up. Yeah, but apparently I have to be careful with the wire because it's very poor uh, quality. So. Wrong button. Oh, maybe I pressed the wrong button earlier. Who knows? Anyway, here we go. This guy's funnier than me. And I want to go back to this mode. And here we go. Imagine you are working out at the gym and the guy pulls out a knife. And then you want to throw a plate on his head. But then you see all the ego lifters took them all. But anyway, at the end, the cops showed up and he was arrested. And by cops, I mean the guys in new knife forms. The only thing that he killed here was the time of all the other people. What a joker. <laughs> Talking about getting cut, this guy is the master of illusions. He doesn't need a six-pack workout. He this just guy. Gets there. He is nervous, but on the Jesus surface he looks Christ. calm and ready. His abs are hairy. For the Look, I can't hate on the guy because that is clever but what do you think repair gang have you ever thought about doing this are you still in uh still here i was hoping you'd be able to tell me if my audio was better now hopefully i've got it fixed i forget if i okay there we go so we got the right camera all right, it should be, should be good. But yeah, uh, so he doesn't have abs, so he actually waxed Type mom them spaghetti. on. Never skip I don't know what y'all hear is uh, his little rap. Very body type, calm and ready. His is nervous, but on the, he just waxed them. He is nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready. His abs are hairy, body type, mom spaghetti. <laughs> Never skip karate class. This guy is... Let me make sure the quality's... Um... Okay, yeah, it's on, it's on high def, or it's supposed to be. Anyway, here we go. It's very upset and sensitive. Jobs at the gas station can be exhausting, but very few filling at the same time. Not sure what happened here, but at the end, both jumped into another dimension. <laughs> have to give both credit because both were fighting better than Jake Paul. Now check out this. Okay, uh, the guys at the gas station. Um, yeah, you could tell that neither one of those guys had likely ever been in a fight before because you, they were swinging like children in my opinion yeah i mean i've not seen many fights that actually look as if they do in the movies but um that was pretty sad so let's move on to this gym idiot here strong man if he was in a powerlifting competition he would get three white oh, lights yeah. without Talk a problem about even his hemorrhoids won't stop him from making gains <laughs> He's wearing a shirt with the number 10 because he's proud of his IQ points. <laughs> like I said, dude, this guy's hilarious. 
I mean, that, that is a little cheesy sometimes, but it's still pretty fun. But who needs ass to grass anyway when oh. he can have ass to power? This guy is training his cheek grip, and you I'm are pretty working sure out your eyes. This is... Here is a guy with good quality muscle mass. His shirt says finisher. Okay, so that guy, this guy, I'm pretty sure that that's he's just not being serious. But um, this guy, actually, I mean, it's not nearly as bad as some of the guys that use um, synthol. But, yeah, you can tell by the way um, the triceps are shaped. And his good you know, vascular mass. His shirt says finisher that, because he finished last in the gene pool. And of course, everyone has the different muscle structures, um, and the way everyone's triceps look will be different. But the way that you can tell is that you have two mus two main uh, muscle strands that run down your tricep, and you got the outer, and you got one that's underneath the two the other two that runs down kind of the center. And then you've got this inner one here. But if you look at it from this angle over here, I know it's blurry. I'm trying to pause it where it won't be so damn blurry. If you look at it over here, it's rounded off. A natural tricep will have kind of a groove in right in this area. So you can tell that. bodybuilder nowadays is even lower than where his <laughs> fake arms will be in 10 years. Now let's check out this guy here. He didn't like the pizza at Pizza Planet, so he made his own omelette. This guy. First of all, he's at Planet Fitness. He's got the bench placed under the bar, which, as anyone can tell you, is always a terrible idea. Now let's watch it. He didn't even remove. I didn't even save the video for it. It was embarrassing. Horrible. Holy shit. Watch stuck. Oh, oh. That looked more like a pancake. Talking about... He got luckier than the chick from Mexico. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that chick from Mexico actually died. Um, I believe she was uh, lifting and her daughter was standing right there. And she did a similar setup as that, where she had set the bench up under directly underneath the weight. And uh, actually got crushed to death right in front of her daughter. And her daughter was trying to lift the weight up. She was trying to, you know, save her mom. And she couldn't do anything. So she was screaming, being hysterical. It, it was painful to watch, actually. I mean, um, the only video I saw of it was, um, you know, the security footage from the gym. But still. Food. Looks like Pizza Planet ordered lots of pizza. This is the eighth wonder of the world. And it's not sure why this is in a gym idiot's pizza. video, but there's much I'll let room it slide. on the pizza and there is not much room on his scooter. This guy doesn't work out his arm muscles, he works out his brain muscles. And that's something you don't want to skip. Ah. Because the name of the videos don't skip brain day. I gotcha. I gotcha, OE. Have you ever seen a real gym rat? He's here not only for the gains, but also for the grains. Yeah, keep an eye on this guy. Anyway, you guys, always remember, oh at my. the end of the day, it's night. And every little Use thing this guy. is going to be all right. If it's not all right, it's not the end. Okay. Now this, you know, the ab wheel, as they call it. That is a practical and, you know, it, it's a practical workout. But if you see this guy, he's actually doing some sort of, that's not what I wanted. What if I... No, it's not what I wanted either. How did I get the first um, layout? Anyway, so if you watch this guy, he's actually doing more of a dance than a workout. 
which I guess dancing is kind of a cardio workout, but notice he's got these band or it looks like the cables actually uh, connected to his upper thigh. So the wraps are up in his crotch. So I don't know if this is some kind of joke or what. Notice he's also at Planet Fitness. Of course he is. Um, but yeah, what? J just have just have. It's gonna be all right. If it's not all right, it's not the end. Also, this exercise is called the pronoun press. <laughs> Yes, the pronoun press. That is perfect. I don't understand why. I mean, you got to give it to him. He's actually getting out of the house, off the couch, and going to the gym and doing something. But, you know, there are much more efficient and effective workouts than whatever that was. But anyway, dude's name or dude's channel name is OE Fitness. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so I don't want to share this one anymore. I want to share the other one. Because I'm going to show you guys his channel. And like I said, that video is linked down in the description so you guys can go check him out. But um here is his channel and like you know he's got 459,000 subscribers he's you know quite well known but as you can see he has all kinds of gym fails and maybe later on we'll do more uh reactions if you guys actually like this one just let me know in the comments below and uh leave a like if you don't mind but yeah he's uh he's hilarious and there we have a uh, synthol guy and uh, he's trying to be, <laughs> impress a girl. So, um, yeah, maybe we'll do that one next time. I'm thinking, you know, if you guys enjoyed this um, show, this quick little stream, reaction stream, then um, I may start doing one like once a week. Just depends on you guys, how you react to it. Um, if you guys, you know, co leave a comment. Tell me if you uh, enjoyed this uh, format or whatever then I will do some more. But anyway, I hope you guys do go subscribe to my co-host channel. And like I said, you know, wishing him a speedy recovery. And we will be continuing our show, Fit Dads Live, episode 23. He says he has something uh, in store for us for next Friday, one week from today. Or probably around 2 p.m. Count on me to be late, as I always am. And, uh, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell, or smash the bell, or whatever you want to call it. And then um, I'm going to wrap it up here. And you guys have a great weekend. I appreciate you all for watching.